what is going on Apex fam? Today we got another coaching video here for you and hopefully give you some insight on what you may or may not be doing wrong as a player. Now usually I stream all my sessions on YouTube rather than uploading them, but if you've been following me for a while then you definitely know that my internet has been beyond broken to the point that streaming is just literally impossible. Actually as I'm speaking right now my internet just went out for the third time today. That's how bad it is. Anyways, today I'm coaching a player on how to properly take fights and how to recover and advance forward from good and bad fights. So, if you learned something new, or you simply just enjoy the video, consider subscribing, it's totally free, and you can always unsubscribe later if you decide to change your mind. If you like the video, it really helps me out as a creator to push this out to other people who want to learn just like you. And, you know, make sure to leave a comment where you find yourself personally struggling, because maybe I'll be able to make a video on it and help you out just a little bit more. Anyways, that's it for the intro. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this session that I had with BG Seraph, and let's get into it. Because uh, I'm solo, I'm pretty much solo all the time. If I'm trying to get better, do I play duos or continue to play trios? So duos is a good way to experience getting in and out of fights, and then trios is a really good way to test yourself. You know, you, you gotta play for that one extra person that you're fighting against, right? So essentially like duos, you can solo or like duo duos, play off of, you know, kind of like how we're doing right now, right? Like you always work from the outside in, um, you always slowly push into a fight, right? And as you're dealing damage, you get more confident and you get more aggressive, right? So in these situations here, we're getting a break or we're getting a knock or we're getting a good chunk of damage off of someone's shield. We push up and we secure them as a kill. We take a quick second and back up, right? Two steps forward, one step back. So damage was that first step forward. Getting the knock was the second step forward. One step back, we kind of reset really quickly and then we get ready for what's going to happen next, whatever that might be. Maybe the guy pushes up, so we have to peek and defend ourselves. Maybe he steps back himself, and we start pushing forward, right? So it's very situational, but it's always two steps forward and one step back. A lot of people coming here. I'm going to land all the way on the edge. I'm going to let these guys fight each other, and I'm going to come right. in in third party with whatever gun I can... Oh, I just got double volt. I'm actually stacked gun, but... uh. Okay, something here. Knocks one on the third floor. All right, like right there we have a knock, so we can play extra aggressive, knowing that if we take damage, we can always back up a little bit. More people are fighting, so if we can, take advantage of the third party opportunity across. If possible, I don't know if this reaches, but if possible, try and land on that second floor balcony. So maybe lift all the way up. Yep, it works. It definitely works. Okay. Okay, it's dangerous up here. I'm just going to reset, come back down. Maybe we can come from the opposite side, right? Because there's a guy on that far left. So if we come from this side, we're not the middle team. Careful. They're like right up here. I got shit on, so I'm gonna pop a battery. Okay. Shit. Careful, careful. Nice, nice, nice. Cover. Back up, create that space, you're in the open. You're still in the open. There's no, there's zero cover that you're using. Don't give yourself right. the opportunity to get one magged. Alright, you have that space, so maybe heal up a little bit. Give me a sec. Recharging shields. Maybe you can res. Listen for them to push. If they're pushing, you have to cancel. Back up space, back up space. Oh. If you're on 1 HP, you don't have the luxury of fighting anymore. You have to focus on backing up, creating that space, and getting yourself out. Are there any, like, legends that you'd recommend overall? The movement legends. Like, the movement legends are just so good. Like, unless you're unless you're playing, like, ranked and stuff, um, mm -hmm. like, the movement legends are just so much better. Because at the end of the day, okay. like, being able to get out of a... Like, being able to get out of a fight is more important than being able to push a fight 
right? Because like you stay alive by getting out, right? And you can use movement to get in and out of your out of your different fights. If I'm Pathfinder, I can like grapple into a fight and like hit or like grapple onto somebody who's one shot so that he doesn't get away. Or if I'm one shot, I can always grapple to get away from the fight. Watch the zip. Oh, did you just jump off chase to chase someone? Yeah. Yeah, definitely don't want to do that, right? If you're right. if you're jumping off to chase somebody, you're broke the loba. No, there's two up there. There's a guy right in front of you. You gotta fight him, right? If you you just waddle around him, he's gonna make a push on you. Don't give up your height. If you can oh, shoot okay, it, yeah, so you, you never okay. want to drop down, right? Because you, you, you give up a power spot. You give up, you can swap the shield. Okay. So you got to remember, right? Like if you're on height and somebody drops down and they have movement, right? They can easily mm -hmm. take that rooftop back, right? Like if you drop down okay. chasing that vantage, she, if she was smart, she would have easily just flown back up and then shot you from high ground, right? Or, you know, okay. um, if you're on high ground, Right? You can still shoot her from up top. You don't have to be on the same level to be able to shoot her. Right? So you can stay right, up there, okay. look down, shoot her. And then if you get good damage, then chase her, right? And go get that kill. But if you So it doesn't matter what the height is as long as I have height, I should just be able to just Yeah, height is so there, height is so is so safe. Right? Like if, if you're on height, you're always gonna have an advantage over somebody. You should never give up height if you don't have to. Also, um I need to, so I play Bloodhound clearly a lot. Uh, any tips on the scans? Because I've seen, you know what I'm saying? I've been in games with people that are like, hey, like, why aren't you scanning? I'm like, there's no reason to scan right now, but. If you know, okay, so like, you should scan when you're getting ready to make a move, right? So if okay. you're going to push up like into them, right? Then hit a scan so you know what's going on. If you're backing up, right? And somebody's trying to push forward, Hit a scan so that you know how they're coming at you so that you can properly defend yourself. So that right there was a good scan because as you kind of come in, you're figuring out, you know, where people are playing so that you can properly play once you like get to that spot. No, her, her, yeah, her, her kid is like insanely good. Just because it's simple doesn't mean like it's going to be bad, right? Because that lift puts your whole team on top of high ground whenever you want, right? And on top of that too, right? You can use it like mid fight and then go right back up into your lift, jump off. Go right back up into the left. Oh, what the heck? Nice. Nice shit on one. She's facing off. She's running that way. Yeah, I, both of them are basically one HP. You focus one and I focus one. You ready for the third party here? These guys are weird. They're just nade spamming the shit out of me. Oh my god. Yeah. Where are they at? Watch your head, watch your head. Nice, back up. Yeah, it, it's... I think it was like... It was like very rare that I'll even see people to get it off even I would even get it off. So the issue wasn't like an like an I think there's people in front of us. They're coming right towards us. I 150 that guy. He's so hurt that we have to push this.
red shield. Where'd he go? Enemy removed. That way. No idea where he went. I hear him. I hear him. Oh, yeah. Whoa! Dropping on him. He's gonna come up. He's broken. So, like, right there, right? We got that huge initial crack on the Octane, which gives us room to start pushing up. And then from there, right? Because the Octane's so hurt, he doesn't have the luxury of fighting, right? Kind of like how I was telling you. If you're a one-shot, like, you cannot fight. You have to back up and stay alive. Octane was forced to back up and stay alive. The Revenant, unfortunately, gets caught in a in the two versus one. Right? We take advantage of that. We kill the Revenant super easy. And then we just hunt down that Octane. Like, people mm -hmm. with self-reses and pubs were just, like... It was too unfair. Oh! Right here in front of me! of a game so you play so you switch from complete xbox to xbox controller pc right yeah i switched from um playing on xbox and then i ended up switching over to pc yeah with the controller i still i still play on controller i don't think i'll ever switch i've been thinking about it i'll i might play a little bit of mouse and keyboard in the future just test it out but for the most part i think i want to stay on controller Shit on right here. So because he's shit on, we can start moving up on him. Sometimes it happens where you don't quite know where everybody is. It's just, it's really important that you make sure that you're actively looking for where they are, right? You're trying to distinguish what directions, you know, certain people are playing, right? So if you don't know coming into a fight, then you have to play slow until you do know. You can't just kind of run right into the building, right? Because I played off of your scan, right? Last place you saw him was left on the stairs. So you should be assuming, okay, like he's at the stairs, possibly. Yeah, okay. Shit. And again, right? Like, I, I try and tell everybody this, but you're not playing with your eyes. You're playing mainly with your ears, right? You use your eyes to aim. You use your ears to distinguish where people are and what they're doing. Your ears can tell you through walls if they're reloading, if they're healing, what legend they are by the sound of their footsteps. Um, exactly, yeah, if they're yeah. using abilities, okay. if they're repositioning, what direction they're moving, right? It, like, your your ears can tell you literally so much information without even looking at, like, what that person's doing. Two teams-ish. I'm going to land on this building right here. Overall, you don't want to land on your teammate if you don't have to. Because now we're going to be sharing all this loot, as opposed to you could be looting... A completely different building and we could oh, each okay. we could all have a lot of loot right because now we're sharing you and me are both going to be missing whatever loot the other person grabbed right so if you got a whole bunch of heals or a shield you know that could have been mine right or i could have been in a completely different building getting my own you know shield upgrade and whatever it might be okay. right like you could have landed right here and then that shield would have been yours r9 just, yeah just just take your own kind of build, but close, still close by to your team, man. I yeah, and, and obviously, far. obviously, if there's another team landing on you, like on you, on you, then yeah, split, yeah. like, like, then land together so that you don't get split, right? But if they're not doing that, right? Like, nobody's like pushing up right into you, then yeah, definitely land apart to get more stuff. My peak. You 
One of the door next to you. I broke that other guy, right? You have so much extra shield. You should be looking to be playing aggro here. Watch your back, watch your back. 50 on them. I'm backing up. Not a safe space anymore. Shit on this horizon if you can kill her. Like, actually shit on her. Look at your health, right? You should not be... You should not be pushing people if you don't have any health. Okay, back up, reset, heal up. Look how lo look at how long it's taking you to just get off of 25 HP, right? Like, you, yeah. sh you should have been full health, like, a, a whole entire minute ago. Super unsure about getting into the boxes and then not being in the fight. No, no, it's fine, right? Like you, you have to stay alive, right? If if you right. die, like what's what's the point, right? It, it's way more beneficial for you to be like, hey, I need to back up because I don't have any heals, I don't have any health, I don't have any ammo, right? Just like how I told you, I said, right? I'm like, dude, I'm shit on, right? Like this is not a fight that I want to be in anymore. I'm gonna back up, right? And I left. And I said, you should back up. Come grab this armor swap. Armor swap in this box. Come grab this. Here's the death right. box. And you stayed there yeah, on right. one HP. And it did absolutely nothing for you. Wraith oh, I just fell off. Gotta be kidding me. The Wraith's on purple armor. Somebody over to our right. Okay. Right there. So how do you know during the rotation where you think or where people most likely are going to end up at? Um, I think of Besides where the, the circle. I just think of where the ship started, right? So it started on, okay. on our side of the map over here, which means that maybe tree launch site and lava. Um, you know, would be over in that area because we cleaned out. Okay, I'm gonna heal up. Hit a scan, right? Let's. Oh, you're on Wraith, my bad. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, we can come in from this backside. He dropped a whole Newcastle shield. Rook one. My nade's in there, too. Don't push too hard. I'm gonna lift up. I'm gonna suck them off also. I'm healing. I'm gonna push from that back door. If you can look at them from there. Holy fuck. I'm getting my ass chased. Don't commit. Nice, nice, nice. Don't commit. Don't commit. Back up. Create some space. Nice. One HP. You get that mech hit off, you push. You get that mech hit off, you push. You know, he's going to get this res off. Push, 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 push. Focus the castle. Get in there, get in there, get in there. Use my knockdown. Nice. Armor swap, armor swap. Armor swap. Armor swap. Oh, 
That's why you always armor swap before you res. Okay. Alright, we'll go third party over here. I'm gonna land right here. Uh. Oh, sweet. Alright. They're both on me. Right. Back up, create some space. Backing up. Yeah, I'll I'm I'll be able to shoot for you if they come out right here. Yeah, yeah, right here, right here. Okay. What the f It's a floating body. Do you see this? Oh, it, it just despawned. There should be anyways. I could totally be wrong. But I'm pretty sure there's a team in here. Death boxes, looting, yep. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Rook one. Shit on. Oh, don't heal, don't heal, don't heal. Alright, keep locking it in, right? You're gonna heal, and then you're gonna basically waste a whole bunch of distance that you can use right so you can like start healing now essentially all right it's gonna be a little oh, late okay. yeah right you want to get as much distance off as you can before you start using your heals because as you run or as you're healing and you're walking forward you're slowed down right right so get that off fly in and then use your med kit like right now Hopefully you get that off. But yeah, maximizing the distance we get off from all of our heals is really important because we don't carry more than one stack of each white heal, of each flesh heal, right? Like we carry lots of shields because that's what's always taking damage. But our flesh usually doesn't take damage. So we carry very few like things like that. So we wanna make sure that we maximize how far we get before we heal, because when we come out of storm, we're not going to have those resources anymore. They're essentially going to be wasted. Neighbor, pals. We've got a minute to find I think he might have seen me. I'm not too sure. He's just sitting behind a bin. Yeah, he's still over there, yeah. Oh, shit on, shit on. Kill him, kill him, kill him. Nice. I didn't realize this guy had a freaking Mastiff. Oh, shit. That's all you. You can have that Mastiff. Or what we can do is we can push this together. Come to me. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lift this up there. We're not going to ride the zipline. Three, two, one. Here it is. Where you at? Where you at? <laughs> I dropped off. No, you shouldn't have dropped off, right? You're basically no, full health no, no, with the no, Mastiff. No, no. It was going to So just, you can just ride the thing back up, right? Like, you you don't have to uh, run around and go take the zipline. You can, you can ride it all the way up to the top, drop down, and ride it back up three times in a row before it disappears. Shit. Right, so you, yeah, you definitely don't have to go find another way. Yeah. 
right there, right? We just don't overextend. We don't peek too hard. We just play tight off the corners, peek in, do damage. So one of the main things why you're really far behind a lot of the time is you gotta make sure that our gun is always holstered when we're not fighting. Right? Like, if we're not actively looking to be shooting at somebody, our gun just shouldn't be up to begin with. Right? Um, on okay. top of that, we want to make sure that we're not trying to loot, like, every single thing. If you got a couple heals, you got some ammo, and you got some shields, right? Start moving on to that next fight. So that... Your fucking game chat. Start moving on to that next fight so that you can go and, like, steal all of their loot. Right? Okay. We get a majority of our loot from killing other people who... Oh, sorry. We, we get most of our loot from killing other people who loaded other, like, points of interest. Hey, they're fighting. I'm gonna get active. Especially since it sounds like they have a knock. S they just finished. So you're using just the noises and then looking at the feed. Yeah. This last guy's on purple over here. And he's... Wow. Alright. Apparently I'm not missing. Sorry, say again what you were saying. I kind of got distracted with that team. Um, so I was saying how you, how you knew that... Um... Basically, these people had that knock going because you knew they were in the fight, but I don't know how you. Oh yeah. Like so, you're using the noise in the feed. Yeah, so I'm listening to like what guns I hear, right? So I'm okay. I can hear like an L star popping off, and I hear a Mozan popping off, and then I just look for those guns in the kill feed, right? And then at once, you know, like I might see, um, like L star going crazy, getting all these knocks, and I hear an L star, right? But then, um, the L star keeps shooting after all, like the kills have been done. Right, so let's get going. Mm. Once you quickly run through that, uh, right? And then like maybe the Elstar keeps going off. I can be like, okay, so that wasn't this team in front of me. But if the Elstar stops shooting when the bodies pop up in the kill feed, I can go, okay, that's this fight right here. Mm. Right, and then um, I'm just looking for like where people are landing around me, so I know where I'm going to be fighting first. Yep. I broke two down here. Instantly get get your swap, whatever that might be. Get ready for this team that should be coming to fight us. Yeah, they were up to our right. I think that's on the building. They may be balls deep in loot right now, so what we can actually do is start posturing up on them before they posture on us. They're already here, it sounds like. Killed one. Alright, so right here, I'm looking to be putting in... You can get up there, right? Right, I got up there, I got a kill. You should be getting up there. There's a zip line right here, homie. Remember, you can always play off of cover. Just because you're fighting somebody face to face doesn't mean that you have to do it in the open. Right? There's a box right here that that person's playing. You can play the box just like they are. Remember, like this, right? We come up the zip line, come right here, play off, play around the box. Right? Peek okay. off the box. You don't have to slide and then fight in the open. Doing all this. Play on the box, peek off at the corners of the box. All right, I'm gonna craft some ammo because I'm down bad. Keep on forgetting how reliant this game on game is on cover. It's super reliant on cover, and it's also extremely reliant on you being the person who's making the push and who's making the moves, right? Because if you give this guy luxury of you not pushing, he's gonna use that against you. Fuck! I just made a battery by accident. You can have it if you need. 
right? He's going to use all of that extra space against you. Right here. Right, like in that situation right there, right? I was, you know, very beginning of that fight, I said, we, like, if this team isn't posturing up on us, we should be posturing on them, right? We're going to take away their area to play, right? They were immediately on top of us, right? So I'm looking to, you know, get close to them, so that, like, or not get close to them per se, but I'm looking to put in damage, right? So that they're not the one who's putting in damage right here in the open. Almost broke purple armor. They have two purples, and I almost broke one. Play a little slow here. I'm going to be on their back side. I'm on their back door right now. Right there, right there. Break at me. Armor swap first. Now if a team comes and fights me, at least I have shields. You can start off with that white swap right in front of you. Do you see it? Grab this white swap first, and then swap off of them. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah, because at least that way you would have had that extra 50 health going for the armor swap. Right here on pain. I'm gonna pop a bat. Nice, so we should start walking up, control the building. Oh shit, came out here. Yep, so don't so don't put yourself deeper into a bad spot. Right? You see how you're just continuously making it worse for yourself? Yeah. I'm like panicking for cover. Exactly. Right? So you could you should have just came all the way wide to the left side. It doesn't matter that you're in storm, it's only round one, right? No way I just did that. This seems to our bad side. You're dead to storm. Yeah. So. Crawl to me if you can. Syringe first. Then a med kit if you have it. And then armor swap on the doors in the front. Being active right there in that fight was perfect, right? You don't always have to be 100% healthy, right? Especially when people are fighting in front of you. Take advantage of the people who are hurt and the people who are distracted, right? Because, you know, they're not looking at you to begin with. So you can 100% just go and shit on them even though you're not full health. So that was perfect that you weren't balls deep in those boxes and that you, you focused on listening to that call and actually coming and help. That shows right there, good awareness, right? So keep that up. All right, now we can just go forward. All right, huge. They're fighting. We take advantage of this. What we'll do, actually, is we'll come in from this left side. Because if we come in from this bottom right side, right, we're going to be on low ground immediately. We're going to be exposed for a longer period of time. Versus this, this choke is a lot closer to where we're actually going to be fighting from. And it starts on high ground. 
right? So right there, that's two advantages as opposed to two disadvantages. Right, we know that they're in front of us, so we can come down and we can scan. Oh, right here, actually. Put blood on one HP. Swap, swap, swap. Armor swap. Armor swap. They're on second floor. Okay. So try and create some space and back up because we're obviously in a bad spot here. I'm going to try and back up here because I'm not in a good spot anymore. Oh my god, I'm throwing. Gotta turn around. I'm dead here. Shit. Left. Did you notice how in that fight where I ended up 1v2ing, right? Like right after that team killed you? And they finished you how I did damage, right? And then, you know. I use an ultimate to basically, you know, kind of like suck them or like pull them a certain direction because it still pulls you through walls. You have to pull backwards yeah. on it. Um, in that situation, right, I, I throw my ultimate. It's going to kind of distract them. Well, you could kind of do the same thing with like a grenade of some sort, right? Push up, um, shoot through the roof, right? I'm going to take advantage of that because you can shoot right through that. And then on that second guy, right, he's stuck in the open, right? Like, there, like mm. even though he's inside of a room, like there was no cover he could have used. And I peeked up. I did damage through the roof, crouch down behind cover, reload behind cover, and then re-peek and then shoot again, right? I'm always trying to play off of cover one way or another. Okay. So I'm going to land back here. I'm not going to contest all those different teams right there, right? It would make no sense in my, in my mind to fight two different teams or, you know, essentially have six people looting one building. Right? Right. Instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let them have all that loot. They can all fight for it. And when we pull up, they're all going to be hurt. Right, And we can just take advantage of that. Yeah. The reason why I'm winning is because of how I'm going about taking that gunfight. I only push when I have cover. And I only push off of advantages, not disadvantages. Good scan. Um, I've gotten to the point now where pubs is just a warm up, but I do like like when if I'm gonna like just hop into rank first, then yeah, 100%. I, I either hop into pubs, and I use pubs as a warm up, or I do hop into the range and warm up my recoil. Watch out for that vantage sniper. I don't know exactly where she is, but I know that she just sniped the shit out of someone. 
Get scans. Yeah. So both are on the roof right now. They're gonna look to push up if they damage you. This is two teams. I'm gonna try and back out because this is just not a good fight. It was a tough one. That was a tough one for you. Are they not fighting each other? He's gonna thirst my kill. Obviously not a good fight, because another guy pulled up. Watch my lift. Thirty-five damage. Good damage put up. Okay. Can I get a feel? What I'm going for here? Yeah. Damage push up. Think, always like, play off a of cover. Yeah, you're always playing off a of cover, like twenty-four-seven damn near. And then it's the second you get a kill, you armor yourself so that you're not fucking sitting there healing. Yeah. Like, I don't think I've seen you have to heal once. I've definitely popped a couple batteries, right? Um, like, when I realize I'm not in a good fight, right? Like, I'm always backing out. It sucks that you weren't able to, like, die sooner to actually, like, notice me do those certain things. Right? But, um, yeah, like, a lot of the time, right? Like, just when you got, like, put into a really shitty spot, like, like we got, like, fourth partied, right? Like, which we couldn't really handle. Um you ended up just getting wedged between everyone. And because you don't have movement, it's really hard for you to live through those situations just naturally, yeah. right? So I can't hold that against you. Be like, yeah, you were in a bad spot, blah, 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 blah. Because you and I were both in a bad spot. It just happened. We had to wiggle out. And um, I used movement to just back up, throw down my lift and focus on getting out of that shitty situation. Nice, good shots, dude. He quit the game. The scans? And I'm good on ammo. Whoa. I don't want to get hit twice because he'll hit me for 100 damage next time. Yeah. Moving up, close. They're trying to take our height. Up top. Broke him. Get him up top too. Kick it. He's right on the door. Oh, watch out, watch out. Nice. So look, instead of going at them straight on... Oh, up here. I actually shit on this Ash. The Ash is really hurt. If you look at her, you could probably hit her once and she would die. Uh, right here. Contact with target. That's not the Ash. Up to the Kill the second height.
Okay, so I heard that ash. So I ulted her to slow her down. Back up, because that's not a fight that I'm comfortable winning. Alright, I'm not going to ego that. I know when I'm going to lose and when I'm going to win. And now from here, I can comfortably reset. And take this 1v1. Oh shit. Rotating back. I defend myself if she's pushing. Nope. Heal up. It's kind of stupid of me to grab an armor swap that was broken when she was with a triple take, like, staring at me. Yep. Right, because she thinks I'm going to take it, right? So it's kind of like a mental thing, right? She, she's yeah. watching to make sure I don't take it, and then I can, like, peek, do damage, and then quickly, like, if I get damage in, then I can take that lift to push her. You are the Apex champion. So it's kind of like it's kind of like a makeshift jump pad, or like a makeshift stim, right? So I can do damage from the yeah. side, and then quickly take it to be harder target to hit on the way up. 